Denise is Journey here with another silly little video. Today we're going to fry up some country ham and make some gravy. Okay, now I've got my grease heat pretty high. I put a couple tablespoons of oil in there because country ham doesn't really generate too much oil. I'm going to add flour to that oil just so it kind of soaks it in a little bit. And you want to I use my whisk because I find it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to whisk this around and get all the good drippings in the bottom of that. All mixed in. We want to get all the lumps out. Like mix that up. Get some good drippings in there. So now I'm going to start adding my milk. Continually stir it because this heat is hot, and if you're not careful, you can burn the gravy. <clears throat> Just keep whisking around. Make sure you get the outer edges. You want every little bit of goodness. Chickens in there. This is going to be wonderful. Now we're going to let it cook a little bit so that it thickens up. See, when we cooked it in the beginning and before we added the milk to it, it made it smooth where there were no flour lumps in there or clumps. Um, it makes the whole gravy a better process because once you get those clumps in there and then you start adding milk and those clumps aren't out. It just, it's a clumpy mess. So you gotta make sure that when you have your oil or grease or whatever in there and you add the flour to it, you need to make sure that's all smoothed out and no clumps before you start adding your uh, milk to the gravy. See, this is kind of thin right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna reduce my heat and I'm gonna let it just simmer a little bit because this will thicken up. But just, it'll be just, just like you like it. I don't want it to stick, so we're going to keep stirring it a little bit. Alright. Now this is an iron skillet, so it's still going to cook a little bit in this pan. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove it from the heat. I've removed it from the heat, and as you can see, it's still cooking. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep stirring a little bit. Iron skillets are much more hot than a regular, like, stainless steel skillet. Um, so if you don't want it to overcook, then you'll need to remove it from the heat. And then it'll finish cooking. Look at that. Perfect. See how it's kind of gathering up there a little bit? That's perfect. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to show you. See? It's not too thick and it's not like water and that's how you make gravy from country ham now it's breakfast time <laughs> 